Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Air Duffel Pack 2. And so we featured a lot of different airbags on the channel. I've always been a big fan of the style and quality that the bags offer as well as the comfort that they have. And so one of my favorite daily bags has been the Air Fit Pack 2. I've used that bag a lot over the past year. And the Air Travel Pack and Travel Pack 2 are still some of my favorite travel bags. They're definitely the ones that I use most often when I'm going on longer trips. As great as the Fit Pack 2 is for daily use and the Travel Pack is for longer trips, I was very intrigued when I saw the Duffel Pack 2 and just kind of the mid-level size that it offered. It seemed like the perfect sweet spot between those two bags for using for when I have to carry maybe a little bit more stuff on my day-to-day -day or if I want to go to the gym and take a change of clothes but also for maybe quick trips on the weekend where I don't have to carry as much stuff but I need a little bit more space than I would typically be able to fit in one of my daily bags. So I reached out to Air to see if they had a review unit I could feature on the channel and they were kind enough to send this bag over. So it's been really great to use overall. As with all the other airbags that we've looked at on the channel, the bag has a really great build quality. It's super comfortable to wear and I really love the overall look that it has. And so I want to go ahead and thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out and I'm really excited to share this one with you guys. So let's just go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at the Air Duffel Pack 2. So starting with the outside of the bag, as with many of Air's other bags, I'm a really big fan of the aesthetic that the company has chosen to go with here. It has the same really durable feeling ballistic nylon material that we've seen on a lot of their other bags. They also have some really great YKK zippers all around the bag with really great water resistance. So you always feel with Air's bags like you're gonna have a lot of protection against the elements, like you're gonna be able to take this through all sorts of environments and like it's gonna hold up well. All the bags that I've used from them in the past are still in great condition. The version of the bag that I have here is the black version. As I am a huge fan of the black coloring, I think it looks really sleek. It helps give the bag an even slimmer profile overall. And I just really like how well it blends in in so many different environments and with so many of the outfits that I typically wear. The bag, however, is offered in a variety of colors. I know they have a really nice looking gray version, a navy version, and also a camo version that came out pretty recently. So really great to see that you can purchase the bag in a bunch of different options. But for me, it's still really hard to resist the really sleek looking black. And so the Duffel Pack 2 comes in at a 24 liter capacity, so the bag can hold a ton of stuff. I've actually been surprised with how much I can actually fit into this bag. So as far as capacity, it reminded me a little bit of the Boundary Supply Prima System backpack that we looked at a little while back. That one's also about 24, 25 liters. But it just goes to show that even if bags have similar literage, I just feel like I was able to fit so much into this and it doesn't even look like it's that bulky. So I really like that as I'm wearing this, it doesn't really stick out even when it's full. It doesn't look out of place wearing this as a daily bag. Bag. as I'm walking around the city on my day-to-day -day, or if I'm in public transit I don't feel like I'm gonna be knocking around into people and I still feel like I can carry everything that I need to and more and so in the past I've talked about how much I've enjoyed using the air fit pack 2 and I kind of look at this as a big brother to that bag so just for size comparison here I have the fit pack 2 empty and this is about 18 and 19 liters as opposed to the 24 offered by the duffel pack 2 so you can see there's a fair amount of difference in the size and so if you just need something for daily carry and you have maybe one outfit that you need to pack for your day to day, the Fit Pack 2 is gonna be a great option. However, if you need a little bit more space or if you want a little bit more organization, I do like some of the options offered by the Duffel Pack 2. On top of the additional capacity, the Duffel Pack 2 has a few bonuses like some extra organizational pockets that we'll dive into in a little bit. And it also has a water bottle compartment, which I was really excited to see and something that I thought was missing from the Air Fit Pack 2. And so since we're already talking about the water bottle compartment, as I mentioned, I'm really glad that it's been included in this bag. I always like to carry a water bottle around with me on my day to day. And especially if I'm gonna be using this as a gym bag, I'm gonna wanna have a water bottle with me. So I really like how it was implemented here. I like the touch here that it has a little elastic cord that actually wraps around the top of the bottle to help keep it in place. As you can see, it does have a tendency to kind of tip downward. So if I didn't have this cable, I wouldn't be surprised if my water bottle might start to kind of slip out as I put this down flat, you know, to open this up and actually see what's on the inside. So really nice touch here. You can easily remove that strap. And as you can see, it has a nice elasticity. So if you have a wider water bottle, it should be able to get around there quickly. This will be also great for securing something like a tripod if you want to use this pocket for that. And if you don't want to use it at all, it actually tucks into the pocket very easily. So nice touch here. As you can see, it does fit my water bottle very comfortably, the same water bottle that I've used in all my other videos. And so really like how much this comes out. It has a nice elastic material here. As I mentioned, you can tuck the strap away if you don't wanna use it. And then I really like that Air has included the ability to zip the compartment up if you don't wanna carry a water bottle with you or you just wanna make sure that the bag keeps a slimmer profile. I really like when bags have this ability to expand 
and compress the water bottle compartment to make sure it stays close to the bag and doesn't snag on anything. So really great implementation here. Continuing on with the outside of the bag, it has two great handles. Same seat belt like material that we've seen in a lot of Air's other bags. I've really enjoyed using this on their bags. The handles are always very comfortable to hold. They're really nice and thick and they give the bag a really premium feel as this material is very soft and it feels like it's gonna hold up well over the longer term. So it has one on the top so that you can pick the bag up off the ground or hang it up somewhere. And then it has an almost identical handle on the side to allow you to carry the bag like a briefcase. If you're just gonna be walking into a meeting or walking through an office or you just don't wanna wear it on your back, you're gonna be able to hold this very comfortably. I really like how thick the strap is and how it offers enough width that it doesn't dig into your hands even if you're carrying a lot of stuff. So really great implementation there. I wish it was a little bit more flush to give the bag a, a more streamlined look, but overall it doesn't come out too much and I really like how easy it is to just reach down and grab this. And so moving on to the straps and the back paneling, this is gonna feel very familiar if you've seen any other videos that we've done for airbags in the past. And in those videos, I've been very complimentary of the harness system that Air includes in their bags. Their straps are always super comfortable. They're very well padded. They're nice and thick. They always have a really soft kind of meshy material to help prevent moisture buildup. And even though they're nice and thick, they always feel very soft and broken in right out of the box. So it's very easy and comfortable to start wearing the bag right away. I also really like the width on the straps. As this bag is a little bit bigger, I really like that they're wider to help prevent the bag from digging in when you're carrying around some extra weight. And I also really like that the straps are a little bit contoured. These are always a little bit comfortable for me to wear when straps don't just come straight down and they have this little bit of bend here. I think it fits my shoulders really well and they've been really, really comfortable to wear. On top of that, the bag also has an adjustable and removable sternum strap to help distribute some of the weight. And they have this little loop here, I imagine, for hanging your sunglasses or something like that. I typically don't use these. I've never quite figured out what exactly this is for, but it doesn't really get in the way either, so not a big deal. Moving on to the back panel, as with all of Air's other bags, I really like how this has been implemented here. Really nice, soft material. It feels great against your back. I like the meshy material that's been used to help prevent that moisture buildup here as well. There's a nice big air channel here to provide a good amount of airflow so that even as you're wearing this throughout the day, you can prevent that sweat from building up a little bit more. Obviously with a bag that's a little bit bigger like this, if you put enough weight in it and wear it for a long enough period of time, eventually some sweat is gonna build up, but I think they do a really good job of managing that here. I really like how much this padding comes up and just how kind of soft it is. So the bag has felt great overall as I've been wearing it. I haven't noticed any fatigue and it's just been really comfortable to wear even if I've been wearing it for a longer period of time throughout the day. Continuing on with the outside of the bag, I really like that a nice shoe compartment has been included here, especially considering this is positioned as kind of a gym bag for the working professional. So really like to see the shoe compartment here. Air has been really good about implementing some very useful shoe compartments in some of their other bags, such as the Travel Pack 2 and the Fit Pack 2. So they've done a great job here as well. I really like that the shoe compartment here has these two air holes to provide ventilation so that if your shoes are a little bit sweatier or if you have some wet clothes in here, it's gonna allow that to air out and prevent the compartment from getting smelly. So has a nice opening here, opens up very easily, allows you to get to your shoes very quickly. I really like how good air has always been in their bags about implementing these shoe compartments and making them very easy to use. There's plenty of space offered in the shoe compartment. Currently what I have in here is my Nike Free Runs, which are the shoes that I've been running with recently. And so I'm an 11 and a half in my shoe size. So as you can see here, those fit very comfortably. As you saw, there's a little bit of leftover space here. So if you're a size 12, I think you would still be fine. Anything bigger than that might start to get a little bit tight depending on the shoe type. So I, even at my shoe size, I'd be a little bit skeptical that I could fit you know, bigger boots in here or even two pairs of shoes. So for just holding my normal pair of running shoes or maybe if I have my Toms and my Converse's that would be able to fit in here comfortably. But a good amount of space to hold the shoes that I wanna carry with me as I'm moving about my day to day. And there's plenty of space in here. As with most of the shoe compartments that I've seen implemented in different bags, when you do use the shoe compartment, it takes up a fair amount of volume from the inside. So I'll show that when we go through the main compartment. But overall, there's still plenty of space inside even when the shoes are in this compartment. I like how much space is offered here. I really like that you can actually pull the lining out to clean it out if it gets dirty from having your shoes in there or something like that. So just really nicely implemented here, very useful pocket. And so moving on to the organizational compartments, I really like the extra organization that has been provided in this bag. With a bag like the Fit Pack 2, I really like that it was a little more minimal and the compartments that it did offer were very well implemented, but with a little more space, it's nice to have some more areas to kind of make sure that everything doesn't get lost in this kind of larger main compartment. And so first up, the bag has a great quick access compartment on the top. So very similar to the one that's on the Fit Pack 2 and on most of Air's other bags. So they've always been really great about how they implement these top quick access compartments. I love the amount of space that they actually provide. So as you can see here, currently what I have is my sunglasses with their case. And then I have my Apple Magic Mouse. 
And then I also have my lightning cable to charge my phone. And so as you can see here, just a really simple pocket, lots of space, very big. I can easily fit my hand in here. I've always been impressed with how much stuff I can actually fit in these compartments. As you can see, you can pull out the lining if you want to clean it out. It's unfortunate that this quick access compartment doesn't have any sort of kind of felt lining to help provide a little bit of extra protection as this might be an area where you put something a little more sensitive like your phone. But overall, I still think it's really well implemented and it's definitely a pocket I use a lot throughout the day. Next up on the side of the bag, Air has included a really nice zipper compartment here, nice and long so that you can store a lot of different stuff. On the inside of this compartment, there are two slip pockets to help provide a little bit of internal organization so that it doesn't turn into a messy collection of items in here. The compartment is a little bit on the slimmer side, especially when the bag is fully filled out in the main compartment, but it still offers a nice amount of space to be able to put some of those accessories you wanna to get to a little bit more quickly. So currently what I have in here is my Blue Pot portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank. So I could have probably also fit my portable hard drive in there or maybe even my laptop charger. So a nice amount of space offered here. And as I mentioned, it has two identically sized slip pockets on the inside to provide a little bit of extra organization. In one of them, I just have my field notes notebook so that I can get to that quickly. And so these slip pockets are very similar to the ones that we've seen in a lot of Air's other bags. So very simple, they have a nice elastic material here. And then in the other one, which is the same size, I have my UTEC wireless charger for my phone. So really great implementation here. I love that this provides some separation from kind of the cavernous area of the main compartment. And I love that this is, this is a very easy compartment to get to as I'm going about my day to day. It offers a good amount of water resistance. I like that the flap actually comes over the zipper to provide a little bit of extra protection if I have some more sensitive items in here. And I really like the vertical orientation which makes it a little bit easier to use, especially as you're putting this down and using it more as a duffel bag. So really great job here. And so the last kind of little organizational compartment that this has on the outside is kind of almost a hidden compartment here on top of the water bottle compartment which I thought was a really cool addition just opens up very easily and this isn't a huge compartment but it does offer enough space to be able to hold something a little bit bulkier so currently what I have in here is my GoPro here with three plus and as you can see I can almost fit my full hand in there so this might be a good spot to also put a mouse or another portable charger that you want to get to more quickly this also has a nice little keychain loop on the inside, so it's a great spot if you have a bigger keychain with a lot of stuff on it. You can actually fit that in here very easily. I like that it has the little plastic loop to attach your keys to. Currently what I have here is just my Gerber shard. So just a very simple lash here. I wish that it was a little bit longer just so that I could actually kind of reach the keys up to the door handle without having to hold the bag up so high. But overall, it's still really easy to get to. I love that this was included and the clip is pretty easy to detach your keys from. So it's still just a really useful place to kind of keep your keys and be able to access them quickly. So really great job on this compartment overall. Love the addition of all these kind of extra organizational areas on the outside. The next area I wanna take a look at is the laptop and kind of main tech organizational area. And so this is kind of a three quarter opening that this has here. Unfortunately, it doesn't open flat and it's not quite a top loader. So here the bag has a really nice thick YKK zipper. It has a good amount of water resistance here. It doesn't have the same aqua guard that you would find on the Air Tech Pack, which I really like. So I wish it had that little bit of extra bit of protection, but it still feels like it offers a good amount of water resistance here. And so it opens up very easily. As I said, it opens up kind of three quarter style so that you can have a little bit more access to everything that's on the inside here. And so this is a little bit of a flatter compartment. I wouldn't try to put anything too bulky in here. Currently what I have here is just a simple folder where I keep all my receipts and papers. Next up, there's a little bit of a slip pocket here, which you could maybe use for a tablet. Currently what I have here is just my Levitate portable standing desk, and that fits in there very easily. But if I wanted to carry my tablet with me, I'd probably put it in here. This is just a very simple slip pocket. It doesn't have any sort of padding. As you can see here, the inside isn't lined with any sort of felt, and it's just a little bit on the flimsier side, so not a lot of protection, but it is nice to have that separate spot to be able to find whatever you need to a little bit quicker. The bag also has a really nice laptop compartment here. You can fit up to a 15 inch laptop. Currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro. The laptop compartment here is very similar to what we've seen in all of Air's other bags. So it offers a good amount of protection on the bottom and it's not quite elevated, but it doesn't feel like your laptop's actually touching the ground. And this offers a fair amount of protection. I wish it was a little bit firmer. The padding is a little bit more flexible than what I would like to see, but it still feels like it's gonna offer a good amount of protection to your laptop. I like how wide this comes out in case you have a thicker device. It should be able to fit in here pretty comfortably. It holds my 13 inch here with room to spare. And then as you can see on the inside of the compartment, there's no kind of felt lining on either side, but still 
but still offers a good amount of padding. The back of the bag is very padded, so it still feels like your laptop is gonna be pretty well protected. And so there's a few extra organizational options offered on the other side of the compartment. So at the top, there's just a really simple zipper compartment here. I like the mesh material that it has as it allows you to easily see what's in the compartment. I don't have too much in here at the moment as most of my smaller items that I would put in here have either been in the outer compartments or in my GoRook wired up, which I'll show in a second. But there's a good amount of space here. It doesn't have that much volume. And in general, I wouldn't recommend putting anything too thick in here as this is just a slimmer compartment in general. But this is a great spot for smaller accessories such as this adapter that I have to attach my memory cards to my computer so it has a USB-C and USB 3.0 connector. And this would be where I put smaller items like cables or memory cards that I don't want slipping around if I didn't have a, a pouch that I was using to organize all those smaller things. So really nice addition here. It just lays pretty flat against the back of the bag. So if you don't want to use it, it doesn't get in the way. And then on the bottom of the compartment, there's two equally sized slip pockets here where you could put something like a laptop charger or maybe some headphones. And these are elevated off the bottom of the ground, which is a nice touch so that they'll be a little bit more protected against drops. And so these come out a good amount. They have a nice amount of elasticity. As far as the size, as you can see, I can't quite fit my hand in there. It's about the length of my fingers. And so that's gonna be a good spot to, as I mentioned, put a laptop charger or maybe your portable hard drive if you wanna keep it on the inside of the bag. But really nice to have that extra bit of space to organize your stuff, especially if you have a lot of accessories and you don't have somewhere to put them. This is gonna be a good spot for them. And so last but not least, moving on to the main compartment, I really love the duffel style opening that this bag has. I've been a huge fan of it on the Fit Pack 2. And I think it's even more useful here as this is a larger compartment. There's a lot more space you have to play with. So opening this up, as I mentioned earlier, it has a really nice, well-protected zipper here. I like that it has this little tab here to help close the bag up. I wish there was one at the top to help open it, but you can just hold the two zipper pulls here and it's still really easy to open the bag. And so this opens up nice and wide. It's very easy to see everything that's on the inside. So really nice duffel style opening here. And so as you can see, even with my gym clothes and the items that I typically carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis, there's still a good amount of space left over in here. I was really impressed with just how much I was able to fit in here. At the moment, this looks a little bit emptier than it did earlier just because I did take the shoes out and I'll show where in the main area the shoe pocket would kind of come up to. So it looks a little bit emptier than it did, but there's still plenty of leftover space to hold what I need for my day-to-day -day, as well as a change of clothes for the gym and maybe even for a quick trip. So the first item that I have here is my GoRuck wired up where I have all my adapters and cables and things like that. And then I also have a full-size Moleskine notebook. And then I also have my Beats Solo Wireless 2. And then moving on to kind of the more clothing related items, I have my smaller packing cube, which I've used in all my other travel bag videos, which has, you know, some underwear and socks and I can fit my gym shorts and a t-shirt in here. And then the last item I have here in the main area is my in-case accessory pouch. It's on the back of the main compartment. There's an additional slip pocket here with a nice elastic. So it comes out a good amount. It's not too big. This would be a great spot for something like a notebook or even a smaller tablet as it is elevated off the ground. It does offer some protection and I probably could have put my moleskin notebook in here, but since it's all the way on the bottom, when the bag is filled up with a bunch of stuff, it could be a little bit annoying to actually reach down and get to this compartment, but still a nice addition here. I could also see myself possibly putting something like flip flops if I don't want them to touch the rest of the items that are in this main area. And so as I mentioned earlier, the shoe compartment actually takes up some space from this main compartment. And so it comes out to about this point when the compartment is filled and because of the shoes that I had in here, which were the Nike free ones, which are pretty flat, they packed down very tightly, or if I had my Toms or my Converses, it wouldn't take up that much space from the bag. It's nice that there's still plenty of area to work with. If you do put your shoes in the shoe compartment, you can kind of work around. I was able to fit my dop kit here on one side and then my headphones here on the other side. So you can actually kind of organize the bag very efficiently, even when the shoes are in this compartment. But it's also nice that if you don't wanna use the shoe compartment, you can just move it down and then you have this whole area to pack everything as you would wanna use it. And so one more thing to call out here is that the quick access compartment from the top does take up a little bit of space here from the main compartment. You can see it here peeking in, but it, as you saw with all the items that I fit in here, it didn't really take up that much space and it just kind of sits flat towards the bottom if you're not using it. And so in addition to using this bag for something like my everyday carry and my gym clothes, I think it offers enough space for quick trips as well. I've been able to take weekend trips with the Fit Pack too, so I definitely expect it to be able to travel for even a little bit longer with this bag. And so what I have here is my larger double-sided packing cube that you've seen in all my other travel videos. So I was excited to see that it actually does fit in the bag and there's still a good amount of leftover space. One thing to note is that it might be hard to use the shoe compartment, 
with this packing cube in this compartment. I still think I can get away with it, especially with a flatter pair of shoes, but it might be easier to just kind of push this off, move the larger packing cube to the bottom, and then I can still fit in you know, my, my smaller packing cube with my underwear, my t-shirts and things like that, and then my dop kit, and then I could still use the other organizational compartments of the bag to just kind of pack out my smaller accessories and my tech and whatnot. So really excited to see that I was able to fit most of the items that I would typically want to travel with. As you can see here, even with the two packing cubes and the dop kit, there's still some leftover space here in the main area where I could put something like my Beats Solo Wireless 2 or a pair of Toms. As you can see, it closes up very easily. And I was very excited to see that I could probably travel with this for at least a week. So I so really love how well the space in this bag is used. As I mentioned earlier, this is about 24 liters, but it feels bigger. Like I was very easily able to fit all the items that I typically travel with for a longer term. So really looking forward to testing this out on different trips and to also continue to use this on my day to day. And so just to wrap up, I've been really impressed with the Air Duffel Pack 2 as I've been using it for the past couple of weeks. As I would expect with any Air bag, the quality and comfort of the bag have been fantastic to use, but I've also really liked the form factor that this bag has and the different organizational options that it offers. It's really nice to have that extra little bit of space for my day to day. And so you can purchase this bag for about $170 on Air site. And so I really like the variety of prices and options that Air offers on their site. They really seem to try to have something for every different need. I've mentioned the Air Fit Pack 2 a lot during this video and you can purchase that bag for $135 on Air site. So it's a little bit less expensive than this if you don't need quite as much space, but still very similar in build quality and style. They also offer a really nice professional looking bag called the Air Flight Pack 2 for $150 on their site. And then they also have their more tech focused and professional looking bag, which is called the Air Tech Pack for about $200. And then of course, at the higher end of the price scale, they have the Air Travel Pack 2 at about $230, which is the largest bag that they offer. And as I mentioned, it's one of my favorite travel bags. So they really try to offer a bag for all different types of needs. So at $170, this bag fits right kind of in the middle of all that. And I think that considering the quality and different features that it offers, it's a pretty reasonable price. As with all of Air's bag, it feels really well made and like it's gonna hold up well over the longer term. The weather resistance that it offers is really great. It has the same really nice ballistic nylon build and aqua guarded zippers. And so even though $170 is a little bit of an investment, you really are getting a great bag for your money. And so this is an interesting bag to try to compare to other bags that we've looked at on the channel. I really think that this bag is in a class all its own. I haven't seen too many kind of hybrid backpack duffels that offer as much tech organization as this bag has. And so the bag that this most closely reminds me of, maybe because of the front opening zipper here, is the Boundary Supply Prima System, which we looked at a little while back. So that's a little bit more of a traditional backpack that also has a focus kind of on carrying camera gear. And that's a really well-made bag. It's a similar size to this, and it has some really interesting accessories that it includes, but it's also gonna be a higher price point. So that bag costs about $200, $220, depending on when you're able to get it, versus the 170 for this one. And even though they have kind of the same liter volume, I was surprised by the fact that I was able to fit a little bit more into this bag. I felt like this one just fit my packing style a little bit better and that I was able to fit everything that I needed a little bit easier. And so the Boundary Supply bag is gonna be great if you want something that's gonna be a little bit better at holding camera gear, or if you want a bag that looks more like an actual backpack. But if you want a bag that's kind of that same size and has the ability to hold a lot of stuff, this will definitely be a great alternative to look at to that. As far as some of the other duffels that we've looked at on the channel, we've had bags like the Incase Tracto Split and the Pyorama A10, which are more kind of traditional duffel bags. So they don't have any of the tech organization that this bag has, and they're not gonna be quite as comfortable to wear as they do have backpack straps, but they're not meant to be backpacks. So they don't have a good amount of back padding, and they just don't have that many compartments. So if you're looking for more traditional duffel bags, those may be good alternative to look at, but they're still pretty pricey. The Pyorama A10 can range from 100 to $150, and the in-case Tracto Split is also gonna be in a similar price range. So even though those are good bags, I think that if you're looking for something with a little bit more variety that still has that same kind of duffel packing style, this is gonna be an awesome alternative to those bags. And then of course the other kind of duffel backpack hybrid that we've talked about a lot on the channel is a Nomadic Travel Bag, which I wouldn't quite compare to this as I feel like that's much more meant to be a longer term travel bag. It's a little bit bigger and it definitely leans more towards the duffel style of carry. So even though it has backpack straps, it doesn't have the same nice padded back paneling that this bag has. And it's something that I think is gonna be just a little bit too big for your day to day. Whereas this I think is a really great daily carry size. 
And so I've enjoyed using the Nomadic travel bag a lot for longer term travel. And I think for that purpose, it works a little bit better than this bag. And it also includes the ability to add some waist straps. And that bag can really just hold a ton of stuff. So if you're looking for more of a duffel style travel bag for longer term travel, the Nomadic travel bag is gonna be a great option to look at. But for shorter trips or more daily use, or for something that works a little bit better as a backpack that's gonna be a little bit more comfortable to wear, definitely recommend checking this one out. And so overall, just another great bag from Air. I've enjoyed using this a lot. And if you're looking for a really reliable daily bag that's gonna be able to hold a little bit of extra stuff, I definitely recommend checking this out. I wanna go ahead and thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you guys found this video useful, please go ahead and give us a like below. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.